Sometimes, and I used to do it myself. Come to church, and your eye is black, your lip is bleeding, you got scratches and oh, yeah. bite marks all over. Oh, Satan will wore you out. Oh, he done, done drunk you to the blood. Where gun kicks you, done run over you forwards and backwards. Yes, sir. And you, and, you, and you come into church, but not, not no more. No. Mm-mm. All right. Mm-mm. I, I'm tired of those days. Those days are over. Amen. Come on, Pastor. It's time for you to back up. Amen. 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 It, it, it hurts me when people come to this church, and I know I can see that Satan is. What he wants to do is take us off our path. That's right. I'm heaven bound. He wants me to turn to the left. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I ain't going to the left. No. Amen. I'm, he wants me to turn to the right. No, I ain't turning back. Right. I'm pointed to heaven, and that's where Amen. I'm going. And everything he does is to get me to drift. Amen. I ain't drifting. There ain't no gray in my life. Amen. 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 We have to understand that he is deceptive. Oh, yeah. All right. In other words, he wants us to believe that the problem is somewhere else mm-hmm. or with somebody else. Yeah. The last person he wants to yeah. Yeah. know, for us to know, it's really him behind the whole situation. Right. Right. Amen. I, I, just for a second, let's just look at where this guy comes from. If you will, turn your Bibles real quick to Revelation chapter 12. Just, chapter we're going to just hit that real quick. and just I, I, I used to come... The church, and uh, you know, like every Sunday, I gotta fight him. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I gotta fight this guy. Yeah. I gotta fight him and, and fight and fight and fight. And then come to church and get ready for church and gotta fight him in the church. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And then, and then when I'm in church, before I get up on the pulpit, I gotta fight him then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, and then when I leave, 
Somebody might whisper <laughs> something in my ear. I got to fight that too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm tired of this. Yeah. You know, once you get beat up so many times, yes. Amen. what do you do then? Fight, fight, fight. Yeah. Turn it over to God. I, I used to think that somebody hit me and I said, okay, cool, it's, it's all right. Yeah. But if you let them hit you the first time, yeah. what are you going to do? Hit you again. Yeah. And then if you don't hit them back, what are you going to do? Keep well, I'm going to hit him today. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Tired of getting hit. Amen. This, 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 Satan. Revelation 12, 7. The Bible just says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. In other words, there was war in heaven before there was war on earth. And Satan lost in heaven, because the Bible says in verse 8, and prevailed not, neither was there found a place anymore in heaven. In other words, Satan rose up against God, got beat up, and got God kicked him out of the house. No more place for you. You got to go. And what I'm telling Satan today is, you got to go. You got to go out of my church. Yes. You got to go out of my house. Yes. You got to go out of my kids. Yes. You got to go out of my finances. Yes. Yes. You got to go. Right yes. You just got to go. Amen. Wow. Yes. So what, what, where is this fool? Huh. Verse 9, and the great dragon was cast out. The old serpent called the devil, mm-hmm. Satan. Which deceiveth the whole world. The whole world. He was cast out into where? The earth. earth. Where's he at? The earth. earth. Right now. He's in this room. (laughs) (laughs) I ain't gonna look around on that one. He in here. I know. You better believe it. He listened to this message too. Yes, sir. He, he, he said to me, he said, we're going to see how much you believe this. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Mm-hmm. They all got kicked out. Mm-hmm. So what's, what is Satan doing on the earth? The Bible says, told, Peter tells us to be sober. In other words, put down the drinks. Mm-hmm. Be vigilant. In other words, be what? Watch out for them, because your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, what's he doing? Walking about, seeking whom he may. Anybody that ain't paying attention. Come on, Pastor. You, you ever seeing those uh, those those animal um, series and stuff where? The deer or the antelope or the buffalo is just walking around just chomping. (laughs) (laughs) And out of nowhere, (laughs) the lion just what? (laughs) And the people who just ain't paying attention, what happened to them? (laughs) You playing with him? He ain't playing. He will take out your mother, your yes. father, your yes. brother, yes. your brother, your sister. He'll yes. take out babies. Yes. 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 None of this women and children first. He's taking everything. Yes. If you let him in your house, he's gonna stay there. Yeah. Oh. All right now. Oh. Bible says, be so. Mm-hmm. Don't be like that. Antelope walking around like nothing's gonna happen. Oh, he's he's waiting. That's who he's looking for. The people who aren't aware. And the Bible says to watch, watch, watch. In other words, I'm, 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 I'm just what I'm trying to say is, imagine you walking down the street and it's dark, and you don't know where you are. You're gonna be alert. <laughs> 
Right. And that's the whole thing with him. Wherever we are, we got to be alert and watch out for this fool. Because <laughs> if he get a chance, yeah. that's all oh, he yeah. needs, one chance. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and how do... How do I defeat something, someone that is, for time, even more powerful than me? I can't see them, but they can see me. How do I fight something that's invisible? How? how I see his footprints all over. Amen. I know he's been around. I see the, 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 the sadness, the, the, the pain, the suffering. I see all that. But I got to get him. I gotta get him out of my house. Yeah. I gotta get him out of my mind. I gotta yeah. get him out of my mind. Yeah. Yeah. My heart. How, 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 how do I, I? I gotta hit him. I just can't keep taking these punches. The Bible says, Second Corinthians chapter ten. Let's go to just how, how do I hit him? How do I hit this guy? How 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 do I back him up? I've been doing this a long time, and it's taken a long time for me to figure this out. But how do I? How, how do I? If, if, if I'm going to fight Mike, he's right there. I ain't going to fight him. Mike. <laughs> Mike's a professional. <laughs> but, if I, if, but, but, but if he's right here and I can't see him, how, how do I fight him? How, how, how do I back him up? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, Paul says, For we walk, for though we walk in the flesh. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. How do, this is how we uh, how we hit Satan. The Bible says, "For we, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not what war after the flesh." So I I can't hit him with my fist. That's not how I defeat him. I don't hit him, punch him, right? But the Bible says in verse four, "For the weapons, I do have a weapon." Thank God for my weapon. Amen. For the weapon of our warfare, for warfare is not carnal, All right. but mighty through who? Right. To the what? So I got a weapon, mm -hmm. and it's mighty, and it'll pull down strongholds. Yes. Amen. Bible says in verse five, casting down yes. imagination. Yes. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, anything that comes up against God, and bringing into captivity every what? Anytime I get a thought, I got to immediately be ready to stop it. To control. If, it, if anything comes in here, I got I, I, I to gotta stop it when it comes. If, if Satan comes to me and says, I remember when you used to. Mm. I interrupt him at that point. Yeah, yeah. I when he says something about what I used to do, I interrupt him. Yeah. So, excuse me, excuse me. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, that was paid for. Yeah. That's how you take every thought. As soon as he throws something at me. Thank you, Jesus. Well, did you see what you just thought? Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, and that also. <laughs> Every thought he throws into my mind, no matter what it is, mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna take it. Like, no, you ain't gonna. What he does is he puts it here mm -hmm. and, and lets it stir up. And then what he wants to do is put it in here. Right. Once it gets in here, then it changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's true. That's true. If he says you're no good up here, I can fight that. But if but if I'm now believing right. that I'm no good, I'm gonna fight that. Right. 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 There's some people here walking around. Mm -hmm. You let it go from here to here, mm -hmm. and now you're struggling with yep. it. Yep. 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 Amen. Amen. Yep. Some say he told you 10 years ago, you still fight. All right. Amen. 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 All right then. You know, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was talking to the Lord, and I said, well, God, how do we even know we're in a fight? How, how do you know you in a fight because your eyes black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody look at you and say, "What happened to you?" Yeah. But that's the physical part. How do we know in the spiritual realm? Yeah. In the spiritual realm, what Satan can do is he can let everything hit you at once. Yeah. 
Boom, 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 boom. Like what he did to Job. Boom, boom. And you'd be wondering to yourself, what just happened? You're trying to figure out how did I, how did all this happen in like two or three days? I was going along smoothly and now everything is all messed up. Nothing's working right. Satan comes like a flood. Boom. Watch everything. How how else can I find out if Satan is attacking me? Like we said in our mind, temptation. When when temptation just comes and comes and comes and comes and comes and comes and comes. And And when ex friends. (laughs) People you used to hang with, you just left because you. I ain't seen you in six months. What you want? <laughs> and I know that Satan sent them. Because Satan just done hit me with all this stuff at once. And then once he hits me with all this stuff at once, then he says, all friends. And what they want to do is what? Drink. Y'all got friends that like to drink? Well, yeah. They want to get high. They want to get you, yeah. they want to get you back to that yeah. group that you was in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you feeling depressed because everything just hit you at once and you just feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. You said, yeah, I'll take one. Yeah. Ain't never had a time. I didn't want to buy one. How else did I know if Satan's coming against me? All of a sudden, I, I lost my peace. Yeah. I don't care how bad it gets. Yeah. I've always had peace. Yes. There you go. But Satan comes in your life when he mm-hmm. comes try to destroy you, you lose your peace all of a sudden. Can't sleep at night. It's easy for me to go to sleep, but now for some reason I can't go to sleep. I'm 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 stressed. I'm discouraged. Spiritually it's hard for me to pray now. I, I don't want to do nothing. Anymore. I don't want to read my Bible. Satan's just gonna come in and just attack me, and I'm and I'm and I'm struggling. I'm like, whoa! I used to read my Bible. I don't yes, read my Bible yes, anymore. Yes. I'm struggling. Mm-hmm. How else is we know when Satan comes in our lives? Mm-hmm. We disappear. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Stop going to church. Yep. Mm-hmm. Stop talking to the, the people that in the, in the church, or stop stop being connected to Christians. We leave our ministry. Mm-hmm. We don't do what we used to do in church. Mm-hmm. We don't have any energy to do it anymore. We don't want to do it. Right. See, what he did is he's, he's taken up all yes. Yes. our path. Mm-hmm. Discouragement. Yes. Fear. Right? How, how, how do I fight Satan? I know he was up there. He got beat down there. Uh-huh. Now he's down here. I got to deal with him down here. Mm-hmm. I know what he does. He's, he's walking around like a roaring lion trying to destroy me. The Bible says I can't hit him with my fist. So I got to hit him some kind of way spiritually. But I know that first of all, I got to recognize who he is. I got to recognize that something's changed. When you recognize something's different in your life, that's right. That's Satan. How do I fight him? First thing you gotta do is you just gotta get dressed. Amen. Amen. You gotta get dressed to fight. Y'all know how y'all do. Alright. Right? When you get ready to fight, what do you do? Strap up, grab the man. Take your Throw your sleeves up, take your belt off, wrap it around your face. I gotta get dressed for battle. If I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna be ready. That's right. I ain't gonna just not fight. I'm just, you, you, when you get ready to fight me, you're gonna see me doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Because <laughs> I'm getting ready, right? That's right. You get dressed to fight. Yeah. So when he comes after me, I'm getting dressed to fight. Him. Because I know what the word says. The word says, if I submit myself, therefore, to God and resist the devil, I can back him up. If I resist him, he'll, he'll, he will run. He'll run. For me? Yeah. So I got to get dressed. I got to put on all the 
proper attire. You know how boxers mm-hmm. they put on boxing gloves mm-hmm. and this little thing on their face, and they put Vaseline all over their face and put a mouth guard in. Mm-hmm. You put the shoes on. What are they ready to do? Right. You know when you get in that ring, you hear that bell. What? You better, you better be ready. <laughs> Satan come into my life. You ready to fight? Hold on, Satan. Let me get dressed. I'm because I'm not running from him no more. Right. Running days is over. Running ain't gonna stop you. Yep. Mama said to knock him out. That's right. You better not come here to pray. Right now. Right. Okay, not. You better not. Get back out there. Get up my house. Get up my house. I'm just going to say this. this uh, I was in uh, junior high. And, uh, uh-oh. Okay. And uh, I ain't gonna say no names, but uh, we were uh, we was in art class. <laughs> we, we, we was in art class, and, and they was throwing clay at each other, hitting each other in the back of the head. Pow, pow, pow. Somebody hit me in the back of the head, um, and I looked, and I saw who it was, and I said, "Stop!" And they went like this. Boom! I went. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one chance. <laughs> An hour later, his whole crew is over my house. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to fight all four of them. Right? But I just had to fight him. But the point of it is, is no more clay. That was it. They ain't throwing no more clay. If clay was going to be thrown around, it always would miss me for some reason. <laughs> because why? They need to go knock him out. Be a fight. And that's what we need to do with Satan. Let him know that if you come after me, it's going to be a fight. You come to my house, it's going to be a fight. You mess with my kids, it's going to be a fight. You mess with my spouse, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. I'm not running. How do I fight him? First of all, the Bible talks about Ephesians 6, it says there's a there's a thing that covers your, your vital organs. It, it, it's Satan's coming after him. First thing I'm going to do is throw his vest. Is what it is. The Bible calls it the breastplate of righteousness. And, 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 and this breastplate of righteousness protects all my internal organs. It guards, it guards me against sin and, and, and sin entering my life and and it also guards against sin entering in my heart because this vest protects me. So I got I got to put on this vest because the only way to to, to, to keep him out of my life and to fight him is I've, I've got to keep him out of my heart. And and, and 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 the Bible says keep your heart with all diligence, for out of the heart are the issues of life. In other words. If something gets in our heart, it comes to our thoughts, and it gets into our hearts, and it gets into our will, and once it gets into our feelings, we begin to act on that. Mm. Once something's in your heart, you're going to act on it. Mm. There was a, uh, I was ministering to this young lady, and uh, she was uh, committing adultery against her husband. And, uh, she, she told me, and I'll was, I was, I was say, that's a sin. And she said to me, she said, um, well, God's just going to have to forgive me. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, what did you just say, man? God has to forgive me. I said, I said, that's a lie. That's a lie. To say that God has to forgive you. God doesn't have to forgive you. His mercy and grace forgives us. But shall we continue to say that grace God? So I you have to cover your heart. Mm-hmm. You just can't let anything in your in your heart. You just can't Amen. accept. Somebody says something, you just can't automatically say, well, that makes sense and accept it. No. Amen. you got to verify it. Yeah. Amen. The Bible also says, with this breastplate, okay, now they're protecting my heart. Mm-hmm. Now, the Bible talks about 
It says the belt of truth. In other words, what holds up all my clothes and your clothes yeah. is a belt. Mm-hmm. And the, the belt, what the belt does is when you live your life according to the truth, according to the scripture, Satan can't get you. Mm-hmm. He works in what? Lies. Yeah. In the session. But if I'm always telling the truth, if I'm always living in the truth, if I'm always uh, searching for the truth, the Bible tells me that and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall be free. So when I know the truth, I'm free from Satan's missions and lies. The Bible says the next thing I need to put on is shoes. So I got my look, look at y'all, okay? I'm going to see if y'all can try to hit me, right? My chest is covered. You can't hit me there. I got a belt on. Truth, you can't hit me there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put me on some real nice shoes. <laughs> so that when I stand, uh-huh. I'm standing on a, on a strong foundation. Uh-huh. Right? Bible says, put on the feet shrouded with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm-hmm. And peace is God's victory over evil. That's right. Because I'm at peace with God. Amen. The, the next thing, so can't hit me here. Can't hit me here. I'm standing on foundation. The next thing the Bible says. Is I got to put on the hel- helmet of salvation. In other words, I'm protecting my mind now. My mind is telling me, like, this, this is the first thing in my mind. My mind is telling me that when this is all over, I'm going to be in heaven. That's one of the things that you'll hear me say every once in a while, only to a select few, is I'll see you in heaven. What does that mean? My mind is already there. I'm not even worried about this world. My mind is not this world, but the next world. I'm already there thinking like, okay, in heaven, let me see, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and do this. So no matter what happens down here, I'm not here. I'm up there. If I get sick, okay, I'm going to get sick. I'm up there already. Okay, I got cancer. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to be up there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right? Right. Okay, I can't. I don't have any money. Okay, well, it's coming today. So my mind is heavenly minded, up, 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 thinking about what Jesus is going to do. So the the breastplate is protection. You can't hit me. The belt is protection. You can't hit me, but because I'm not going to tell a lie and let you get in. My, you can't hit me. This is a defensive. These are all defensive weapons. My feet prepared with preparation of the gospel of peace. That's defense. The shield of faith. Right? I got a shield down that's going to protect me too. So where are you going to hit me at? You can't hit me in the head. Can't hit me in the chest. Got a shield right here. Got a belt. My, my feet is, is tight. Where are you going to hit me? Well, the place that you could hit me is my back, but I'm never going to turn my back to you. Amen. <laughs> See, you turn your back. You're running. I'm not running. I'm standing. So this shield, no matter what Satan throws at me, I got a shield. So how are you going to get me? You can't. And, 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 and so the, the Bible talks about the shield of faith. The shield of faith is protection. See, everything everything so far is defense. Protect. Defend. You can't hit me. Satan says, boom, bounce off of him. Boom, bounce off of him. Boom, bounce off of him. Hit you in the head. That bounce off of now, now I'm going to, wherever he goes, I got this shield. So that bounces. Yeah, yeah. He can't hit me. Okay? Now I'm going to hit him. Okay. He done already tried to hit me in every place he could. Yep. Okay. I'm going to hit him now. The Bible talks about the sword of the spirit. Now it's like, boom, 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 boom. Okay, you ain't hit me. Now I'm going to hit you. Amen. I'm going to hit you with the word of God. Yeah. yeah. Everything you done tried ain't worked. Yeah. And you stand still standing there. Okay, now it's time for you to. <laughs> How do I hit him with the word? I hit him just like Jesus did. That's right. Every time Satan tried some foolish stuff, Jesus uh-huh. said, It is written. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Satan said to Jesus, He said, 
And y'all know about the temptation. Amen. Jesus was tempted 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. And, and uh, Satan said, if you be the son of God, change this bread, this rock into bread. And yeah. Jesus said, it is written that man shall not live, but by every word. So what, what Jesus hit him with was the word of God. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. If all you know is to memorize scripture, that ain't enough. That's right. Not only do you have to memorize scripture, you got to know what it means. You just can't know scripture. You got to know the context, what it means, and, and how to use it. That's why you come to Bible study. That's why you read your Bible. That's why you study yourself to be a fruit. Because some people. Just throw it out. Well, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Satan says, I know that scripture. Let me twist it a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come out with the right scripture wow. at the right time. Yes, right. He kept messing with Jesus. Jesus, he told Jesus, he said, if you be the son of, son of God, cast yourself down. Mm -hmm. And he says, and, and Satan is, 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 is quoting scripture. Yes, for his benefit. <laughs> That's the whole part. If, if you don't know scripture, Satan will take the same scripture you gave him and twist it. He told, Jesus said, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. The devil get mad now. The devil took him up to a high exceeding mountain. And he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And Satan says, all these things I'll give unto him. If you what? Bow down and follow me. Worship me. <laughs> Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only. And him only shall thou serve. I'm taking the, I'm taking the word of God now. Whack him. Take another step. 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 Whack him. Where are you at now? Where are you at now? Out the door. But if you don't get dressed. I don't have the shield of faith. What's going to happen? I'm living a lie. What's going to happen? I'm not protecting my, my heart. What's going to happen? My mind ain't on Jesus. What's going to happen? Mm. He's coming to get me. Yes, I, I, I tell this story every once in a while. Some Thank people you, Lord. Um, may have heard it before. I, um, it's wintertime. And I have the tendency uh, to try to run outside and mm. throw the trash out. Mm. <laughs> Without a coat. <laughs> Without a hat, <laughs> without shoes, because we'll run out and run back in. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Without gloves. Uh -uh. Now, what do you think happens to me when I run outside? You ran right back. <laughs> cold. Cold. Every part of me that is ex exposed gets attacked. Mm -hmm. Where Satan is going to attack you is where you're weak at. All right now. Right. 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 Your faith is weak. Yeah. You got a little tiny shield. Yeah. Yeah. Your faith. That's where he's going. If you're if you live in a lie all the time, he's gonna attack you. If you're not telling the truth, he's gonna attack your lie. Say so he comes after me. I know he's coming. He's a royal mind. He's gonna come. He might come to me when after this message is over. But I'm already dressed. I'm already ready for him. But when he comes, I'm not running. Yeah. See, a lot of people, they come to church, and you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And, 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 and when you were out in the world, you were running with him, so he didn't bother you much. Amen. You come into yeah. church, yeah. Oh, yeah. you made him your enemy. Right. Yeah. Now he turns his back on you. Yeah. Now he attacks you. Yeah. And some people, when they come in and, and, and say the tax, they run back out because they're scared now. Yeah. And then when you become mature as a yes, Christian, sir. you learn mm -hmm. how to fight back. Yeah. And what do I do finally? What's the last thing I do? The, the Bible talks about it in Ephesians 6. The last thing I do is I pray always. Mm 
Yeah. What that means is I'm in constant communication yeah. with the coach. That's why you yeah. Amen. Very nice. Very nice. God, I'm in constant, con- constant communication. He's always, I'm always talking to him. What do I do yeah. now? What do I do 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 now? And he's always telling me what I do now. Yep. So here I am. Satan's coming after me tonight. He's coming after me today. Okay. I'm guarding my heart. Yes, yes. You ain't gonna get in my heart. Mm-mm. Amen. Right? I, 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 I'm gonna live my life with truth. Yes. I'm, I'm keeping my mind on Jesus. Yes, yes. I got the shield of faith. Yes. My shoes, the foundation with the gospel mm-hmm. of peace. Amen. 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 So then I'm, I'm what? I'm now ready. Yes. Okay. Cool. This is what I look like. And he and he says for what I do. Whack. But these are spiritual weapons. You have to understand what they are and you have to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus. If I was you, I'll read my Bible. That's right. If I was you, I would study my Bible. If I was you, I would read my Bible. If I was you, I would study my Bible. My Bible. Amen. So that I can be ready, because he's coming. Amen. Everybody in this room, he's coming after you. Oh, yeah. Amen. If you're going through a spiritual battle, come on up. We just want to pray for you. Amen. I mean, just just let's start this battle off right now. Amen. Let's just start it off right right now. Just 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 start. Anybody? Rob, you want to pray? Anybody who's in a battle right now? Come on. Who's tired of running? Who's tired of running?
attacking our hearts, he's hitting our finances constantly, never stopping and go to him naked and expecting Father God, we thank the man of God for this message. We know it's for you. We know that we need it, Father God. That we're no longer babies, Father God. That you're growing us, Father God, preparing us, Father God, to be mighty and strong. To be conquerors, Father God. To raise our seed, to love this world. To hate the things that are not pleasing to you, Father God. To love you, to bring you glory, Father God. So we ask that you let this message permeate through us, Father God, that you inspire us to go in, go home and read our word and to pray. Read our word and to pray. Father God, we ask that you would help us apply your word to our life, Father God. Those ugly things that we do, those bad thoughts, or whatever we got going on, Father God. No matter what we do, we'll never be holy. Father God, we'll never, we'll never be holy only in you, God. And so we can't do that on our own, Father God. So help us give all our raggedness, uh, wickedness, uh, unholiness, Father God, and those areas that we're struggling with. Let us not condemn ourselves, Father God, but let us give it to you, Father God. That you will give us a word or an encouragement or a way out of our situation. So just help us to pray. Continue to walk in you, Father God. Continue to let you mold us and grow us, Father God. Let us not tear down ourselves, Father God, but that I, we're not God. You said we're all beautifully and wonderfully made. We don't have the right to even judge ourselves. Let you be our judge. Let us cast our cares and our troubles and our issues before you, Father God, and let you work them out. Because you're a righteous God. You're a good Father. And you're going to work them out for our benefit. And if left God, the fighters will destroy ourselves and our, all our family, Father God. Because we think what we're doing is good. But ain't no good in us but you. So, Father God, bless everyone that came up here, Father God. Open their hearts, Father God. Send forth your spirit, your grace, your mercy, Father God. Continue to help us and humble us. Help us to find your glory, Father God. To bask in it. To find rest and peace, Father God. To raise our children, Father God. To fight the good fight, Father God, that we may one day be with you. In love. Holding you. Crying on your shoulder, Father God. Blessed. Because when we was down on this earth, Father God, we just submitted to you. We just listened to you. We just let you move us and deliver us out of our situation. One situation at a time. So, Father God, keep us and bind the hand of the enemy, Father God. Help us to put on all our, our weapons, Father God, our spiritual weapons, Father God. Help us to put on our shield of faith and use your word, Father God, that we may be the war of the devil. No, we ain't no weak Christians, Father God. We fall in the world. Let us fight in the, fight against the end of the Satan. Let us talk smack to him in the name of Jesus. You ain't going to have my kids. You ain't gonna take my mom. You ain't gonna take me from cancer. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. Why? Because my father got me. Because I'm a king. I'm a, I'm a young prince. I'm a young princess. You raised me. My father got it. He, he said greater things that I would do with him in me than he even done. So, yes, I'm supposed to stomp on the devil here. Yes, I'm supposed to be arrogant and that my father loves me and he wants the best of me at all times and all situations. So let that be my comfort. Let me believe it. Let me speak that word into my life every day. Let, let, let my thoughts be cast down. Don't let me say you ain't no good. Look what you did. Look what you used to be. Look what you just did. Look at your heart. Look at your thoughts. So what? My father said, um, he paid the price on the cross for me. All I got to do is get on my knees and repent and keep on pushing like a little old kid. So if I let us take that mindset, uh, just keep our hearts, Father God, and give us the strength to walk through this wicked world, Father God, so we all are going through trouble, Father God, and that's okay. So bless us, Father God. Keep us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Everybody, Sister, Sister Tennessee has got something to say. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's good to be in the house of God. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last time I asked a question of who is Tyler Brunny. <laughs> I felt that one. Yeah. It's like it was talking to me. And yeah. then I was right. So I just. Uh, Thank you to everyone for your prayers because they are text messages. I know I changed my number, but I'm just so grateful to be here to be your life. And I am tired of when we we all have to be able to know how to pray. There's nothing we can do without God. God is our everything. He's our source. We should always go to Him and always ask Him. I bless God so much for a pastor. Amen. Every time I'm so confused, I don't know what to do. I call him. And he's always there. Yes. I've just got so much. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. <laughs> Verses read, For I have received of the Lord that which is also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, 
which is broken for you. This do, this do in remembrance of me. After the same matter also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This is the New Testament in my blood. Do this, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye all ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Amen to the reading of this word. The bo his body was clearly broken for us and not for his own sins. His blood was spilled for our blood because without the uh, without blood, there is no remission of sin. So he had to do that in his own perfection in order for us to be in this time of grace. The verse also goes further to read, and I, and I know Pastor, you told me not uh, it's not there, but it says, Who shall ever, uh, Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall, uh, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. And what that meant is that there was a lot of people coming in that time and the, the rich was first and they drunk all the wine and ate all the bread <laughs> in this communion. So don't think of it as you being unworthy. If you want to remember God, please do your communion. It is very important to remember that his body was broken yes, for right. us. Yes. His blood was yes. shed for yes. us. So don't ever feel guilty of not taking communion. You should always take communion yes. if you are a Christian and you truly believe. That's so right. let's all take the bread and if you have the bread, please, please open it. And as we hold this bread up, let's break it in remembrance of Jesus and eat. And in the same manner, let's take the cup and open it. And let's also have a drink and remember that this is the blood he shed for us. Amen. 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 That's good. And um, before we leave, we have one more thing that we would really like to do, Pastor. All right. We, we want to pray. Yes. We would like to pray in a moment. Amen. Yes, we know what's the blood of Jesus. Amen. telling me when we spoke in the hospital yes. was that she said she prayed till she couldn't pray no more. She had a battle song. We had a battle song. It was Psalms 91 was our battle song to get us through this. And seven days after she was admitted, and, and exactly seven days after she was admitted, she was ready to come home. Yeah. 
had our own creation story yes, of how God had transformed our daughter yes, that seven day. Yes, how the Lord had stopped something that was supposed to happen yes, from yes, 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 her saving and restoring her life yes, and giving her a new song. It's by Marietta Brown, right? Thank you. It's not over. I thank God for his grace. I thank God for his mercy. But I think that I will let her say something. Because she would like to say something. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, I am already on the way right now. Before. That's okay. Um, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. I am. I just want to say, God, I want to thank God for you. Come on. Amen. 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 Walmart for y'all is to never give up. Like, yes. Always believe in God. Always, yeah. God wants you to work. He told you know that your work is told. You know that. Y'all know that like, his work is told you. Always. Amen. Amen. So, like, it's okay to work. It's okay to eat bad. It's okay. Just always know that his work is told you. That's right. And it's all right to go through stores. Everybody got their own stores. Yeah. Man, yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. You guys always know that God puts you through those storms for a reason. All right. Yes. yes. So, okay. Never give up. Always, always pray. Always yeah. read some books. Yeah. It don't like me every day, but at least try. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for everybody's prayer. Yes. 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 Prayer works. Yes. 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 It really does work. Yes. Thank you all. So this is a this is simply a, a very simple prayer, and this prayer is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This 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 child grew up in this church, and. No weapon form. Yeah. She would run around Thank the church as local. God was with her. Yes. Here's our prayer, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.